Prop 9.3 is uh, got a bunch of parts in it. We'll come to those. So the variation with composition of the uh, excess Gibbs free energy for liquid iron manganese at 1863 K is given here. So that's our data. Does the cyst exhibit regular solution behavior? Calculate the partial molar uh, excess free energy for iron and manganese given that the uh, mole fraction of manganese is 0 0.6. Calculate the total molar uh, Gibbs free energy at uh, for, for mixing at uh, a mole fraction of 0 0.4 manganese and then calculate the partial pressure of manganese and iron exerted by the alloy when the mole fraction of manganese is 0 0.2. So this whole uh, excess, um, it's a term that talks about the free energy that is in excess of the uh, just uh, rule of mixtures, so the unmixed, and it's the excess uh, in addition to the entropy of mixing. And we're basically talking about the, uh, I'll turn on this, and it, for a, uh, Regular, then GXS is equal to omega X F E X M N. Right. This is the, the term that we saw when we talked about our, our regular solution. Which means that if this works, then we should be able to say that omega equals GXS over x m n 1 minus x m n right so that's x uh, iron which means that omega 0 0.1 is equal to 395 that's from our, our data divided by 0 0.1 times 1 minus 0 0.1. And this we can compare to 0 0.9, which is equal to, again, 395. Oh. And this is times 0 0.9, 1 minus 0 0.9. So it turns out. Right, that is 395 over 0 0.1, 0 0.9. 395 over 0 0.9 times 0 0.1. These two are equal. And they're equal to 4389, 4, 3, 8, uh, but those are on the two ends. Let's try something in the middle as well. Let's try omega 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5, 1100 0, 0 divided by 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is equal to 4400. 0, 0. And these are almost the same. So the answer to part A is yes. The uh, excess free energy uh, seems to obey, it seems to obey the uh, expression for the mixing. Okay, 
The next is we have to uh, look at the partial molar quantities of iron and, and manganese, of the, of the free energy of, 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 of uh, iron and manganese. And far excess of the ith species, that is equal to, I'll call this actually the eighth, we're just going to say we have an A, B binary. That's going to be equal to omega times x b squared. And this is just from, from your text, which means that g bar x s m n g bar x s f e is equal to omega 0 0.4 squared omega 0 0.6 squared omega we have here and we have data for, uh, for 0 0.6 well I guess they're the same right because it's, it's symmetric because we're dealing with a regular solution. So this is going to be equal to 1054 over 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 squared. This is going to be 1054 divided by 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 squared is equal to 703 joule per mole and this is equal to 1581 joule per mole. So I got the solution to that. Yes, is B. Part. Oops. Shuffle my papers over here. Part C. Uh, part C, we are supposed to find the uh, molar uh, Gibbs free energy of mixing. And to do that, we have delta G. M is equal to RT X iron, so mole fraction of iron, natural log, mole fraction of iron plus X M N L N X M N plus omega, the mole fraction of iron, and the mole fraction of manganese. All right, this is exactly what we, we did in class. GM is equal to 8.314 times the temperature, which we're given is 1863 times 0 0.6 natural log 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 times natural log 0 0.4 plus 1054 divided by 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. So those go cancel. And we get delta G M is equal to negative 9370 joule per mole. And last but not least, we're going to do uh, D. So D is talking about the uh, calculate the partial pressure of manganese and iron uh, by exerted by the alloy when the mole fraction of manganese is 0 0.2. So 
So this is going to be the activity of some element is equal to the partial pressure divided by, so that's the activity in a solution, it's the partial pressure above the solution, and this is the partial pressure uh, above elemental uh, of that species. So pi is equal to a i pi zero. We're solving for the partial pressures. And this we can take from uh, the appendix in the back of your book. So here we have P F E naught is equal to negative 45, 3, 9, 0 divided by T minus 1.27 natural log of t plus 23.93 and the partial pressure of manganese is equal to negative 33440 divided by t minus 3.02 natural log of t plus 37.68 and for both of these, T is equal to uh, 1863. So there, 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 and there. We get 4.55 times 10 to the minus five atmospheres. That's the partial pressure of uh, iron. And the partial pressure of manganese is 4.93 times 10 to the minus 2 atmospheres. So that previous problem where we, we said that the uh, uh, most of the weight loss was due to the manganese, that's because the manganese had a significantly higher partial pressure. So it, it's much more apt to, uh, to uh, migrate or to uh, uh, evaporate. So now we've got these which we have for here, we need the activity. And for the activity, we're going to use the expression that the natural log of the activity of species A is equal to the mole fraction of species B squared omega divided by RT plus the natural log of XA. So this is normally over here. So if you look in your textbook, you'll find an expression for the natural log of the activity coefficient is equal to this term. And then recognizing the activity co coefficient is the activity divided by the uh, mole fraction. Uh, that gives us this, this term. So here we have the natural log, sorry, of the activity of the manganese is equal to 0 0.82, that's the mole fraction of iron, squared times 703 divided by 0 0.8 times 0 0.2, that's the omega, just using the, uh, that expression from before. And the, and the data set we're given, then that means uh, <clears throat> divided by RT, 8.314 times the temperature, 1863, plus natural log of 0 0.2. That gives us the activity of manganese equals 0 0.23. Nine eight. The natural log of the activity of iron is equal to zero point two squared seven zero three divided by zero point eight times zero point two divided by eight point three one four times eighteen sixty three plus the natural log of zero point eight basically exactly the same except these terms switched 
and that gives us the activity of manganese is equal to 0.80913, which means now that the partial pressure of iron is equal to uh, this, is equal to the activity of iron, 0 0.80913 times the uh, pressure of iron uh, above pure iron at 1863, which is uh, pure. 4.55 times 10 to the minus 5. Partial pressure of iron then is equal to 3.68 times 10 to the minus 5 atm. And then the partial pressure of manganese PMN is equal to the activity of manganese, manganese, which is 0 0.2398 times the partial pressure of manganese above pure manganese metal is uh, 4.93 times 10 to the minus 2. So the partial pressure of manganese is equal to uh, 1.18 times 10 to the minus 2 ATM. So the partial pressure of manganese is three orders of magnitude greater than the partial pressure of iron in this uh, above this mixture.